Um, I'm here at the People's Climate Assembly with David Shoebridge and um, yeah, we're just talking about the $225 billion we're spending on submarines and what we could better use it for. Well, yeah, as a Greens MP, the thought of spending $225 billion of our collective money, you know, this is money that's meant to be used for a public purpose. We're here in Canberra, shrouded in smoke. This is, the capital has been surrounded by fires. The whole eastern part of the state has been surrounded by fires. And the thought that we're spending $220 odd billion on like 12 subs to creep around the ocean floor, allegedly to make us safer, while we're facing this kind of genuine existential threat through the climate crisis. Oh, that does my head in, I don't know about yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we won't have the first one for 15 years. And... I, I just, I just, you, you almost can't conceive of the obscene waste and, and the diversion of money to those corporations that profit from war um, when we need that money desperately now to make yeah. the planet safe. Yeah, we need to fight the current crisis that we're in right now. Yeah. Yeah. And all the spending, the amount of spending coming out of each electric bill. Literally $225 billion is a billion dollars in every single electorate, federal electorate in Australia. I mean, you've got to sometimes step back and, and, and try and understand the scale of the waste that we have on defence expenditure. And, and even within the defence community, people say it won't, actually won't make us safer because, as you say, these things are going to be launched in 15 years and by then they're likely to be sunk by some sort of remote drone by a teenage boy on his, on his sofa. Yeah. So. Um, uh, it's an incredible waste of money, but it's also an indication of where that group up there in the federal parliament want to take this country. Make us anxious about our neighbours, make us less safe and don't deal with the current crisis. Thank you, David. Cheers. Thank you, Kate. Thank you.